It's Miss Terry from the Carnegie Library. Welcome to Craft Time with Miss Terry. Today we will be making a bug out of a toilet paper roll, which I know all of you have. Um, this craft is good for ages four to seven. Um, you can even do younger than that if you want to help them, and even older than that. Um, it's pretty easy. And you can do it with things that you probably have laying around the house. So let's get started. So for this craft, you will need, of course, a toilet paper roll. You can also use a paper towel roll that you can cut. You will need a hole puncher, a pair of scissors, a colored car stock, or you can use construction paper, regular paper, even some craft foam, glue, or a glue stick, or I particularly like the glue dots because they stick immediately. Two of the chenille stems are the pipe cleaners. They don't have to be sparkly like the ones I have. This is just what I have at home. Googly eyes, or you can make your own eyes out of paper and some yarn, and it doesn't matter what color. I just like blue, and I like the kind that's different colors in the same skein. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your toilet paper roll, and you're gonna go in as far as you can with the hole punch, and you're gonna punch a hole. Then you're gonna turn it over, and on the other side, Right across from the first hole that you punched, you're going to make another hole all the way in. You're going to do that same thing on the other side. Right across from the first hole you punched. Punch a hole and then all the way around and punch another hole. And this is going to be for your legs. Then you're going to take your pair of scissors and between the two holes you're going to put just a little cut. This is going to hold your yarn. Just like that. Now the third step is we're going to do our legs for our bug. So you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to put it all the way through the hole. All the way through, just like this. And you want to kind of make it even, so I kind of make it go kind of forward to make sure that my legs are even. But then you're going to, have, you're going to want to go in and through that hole again, like this. And that just makes sure that that leg stays where it's supposed to be. And you might have to have parents help for this. So this other side, you're going to go in and through that hole, just like that. Kind of like sewing if you've ever sewed by hand before. Okay, so now we have some legs. So now we're going to do the same thing to the back, through the holes. We want to make sure they're kind of even. We can cut them if we need to, if, they're, if they end up not being even. Through the hole again, and kind of pull it, just like that, to keep it from coming out later. And then this one, through the hole. Just like that. So now we have four legs. Ta-da! Now it's kind of starting to look like a bug. So now our next step is we're going to find that little cut we made, which is right here. And we're going to take our yarn. It's going to take quite a bit of yarn. We're going to take the end of our piece of yarn and we're going to stick it into that little cut, and the end's going to kind of go on the inside of the toilet paper roll. Kind of like this. 
this. So it's kind of like a holder, all right? And then we're just going to wrap it around our bag. And you might want to hold it because if you pull it too tight, it will come out of your toilet paper hole. Okay, and you're just going to keep winding it. And I found the easiest way to do it is kind of to move to move your toilet paper roll rather than to move the yarn. So I just sit there and move my toilet paper roll around and around. And you can even get faster and faster. You can make it a race with your brother or sister if you want to. I need more yarn. And you just keep going round and round and round. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to cover all the brown at all. If you want to cover all the brown, that's fine too, because this is your bug and you're going to do it whatever way you want to. All the way around. You can see how my different color yarn has already changed colors. It started off as light blue. And now it's changed to dark blue. And that's why I like the different color yarn all in the same skein of yarn. I like to do it for bracelets and stuff too. All right, so now I gotta go over these legs at the end. And you don't wanna get too close to the edge at the end because if you do, your yarn will fall off the edge, all right? So you, you wanna get close, but not too close. When you get close enough, then you're gonna go right back the other way again. And this time you don't have to be as careful, okay? So I do it diagonally because I like the way it looks. And then you will come back to wherever that cut is again. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it and then you're going to slip it right back into that cut again and I always like that to be the bottom of my bug so you can't see it all right so now we've got our body of our bug and we can actually form our legs so I just bend mine. You can actually make feet if you want to. It's completely up to you. And if your legs aren't the same length, you can cut them to where they're the same length. Like mine are a little longer on one side, but that's okay. The next step is your eyes. So if you've made eyes, that's fine too. I have just usually eyes. And I'm going to take my glue dots, but if you have glue, that's fine as well. You can put your glue on there or your glue dots, and you're just going to glue your eyeballs on. Oh, I didn't get a glue dot on there like I thought. Let me try that again. You can see on my other one, I actually put two different color eyes because he's kind of goofy. And you can make yours goofy too if you want. There is no wrong way to make a bug during Miss Terry's craft time. All right, I stick this other one on here just like that. Now mine has two eyes. And our last step is to make the wings. And the way we do that is with our craft foam, our colored paper, we're gonna make a circle. Or you can make a half circle, whichever is easiest for you. I like to do it this way. I'll fold my paper in half.
and then I make a half circle on the fold. And you want to make it about three quarters of the length of the toilet paper roll. And it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It's all good, all right? So there's my circle. And now I have that little fold down the middle that tells me where I need to cut it, okay? So I'm gonna cut it in half. And voila, I now have my wings. So I will take my glue or my glue stick or in this case, my glue dots. And I'm going to glue them onto my bag. Just like this. And sometimes you might have to go inside and kind of push it down. And also, if your parents are with you, a hot glue gun works really well too. But you should not get it out without your parents' permission. Okay, so now you know how to make a bug out of a toilet paper roll and yarn. And now you can make lots of them, I'm sure, because I'm sure you have lots of toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls at your house. So stay tuned next week and we will do another craft.